Hey, what's going on? Pilot's Trigger here, and today we're going to talk about the new F-16 changes and the latest change log from September 17th, 2021. I'm going to talk about the latest important changes that I think are important, as well as the dual target track, or sometimes called the two target SAM mode. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Okay, so the first change is the ANPG-68 detection and tracking ranges have been adjusted or reduced to match the publicly available data. So they have been nerfed, they have been reduced, and right now this is the test right here, and about 37 to 38 miles in RWS mode is when you're actually going to be able to bug a target. And here in the HUD view you can actually see when I bug the target it was about 37 and a half miles. Now the next change is when you bug a target in SAM mode, but you're actually like in nav mode and you switch to MRM or ACM mode, it would actually drop the contact and that has been fixed, which is great. So here we are in MRM mode with a bug target in SAM. I switch to ACM mode, the target is still locked and I'm able to get an A9X on this guy. So that's, the, that's amazing that they finally fixed this. So the next thing is if you advance your throttle and introduce fuel before 20% RPM or the SEC light is not out, you're actually going to get a hung start and you're going to need to repair or get a new aircraft. So you need to wait for that 20% RPM or the SEC light is out before advancing your throttle. So next we're going to talk about the DTT or dual target track, which is a sub mode of range while search. What I'm going to go ahead and do here is expand with the pinky switch so you can see a little bit better. We're going to bug the first guy with TMS up short, and we're going to bug the second guy as well with TMS up short as well. Now you can see that the first guy is bugged with a circle around him. He is the primary, and the other guy is the secondary. And you can switch between these with TMS right short. You don't want to do TMS right long because that will put the system into TWIZ or TWS mode. So once one of these guys gets to 10 miles, it's going to stop scanning the volume you have selected here, or the scan volume. So it's just going to be focused on these two uh, bandits. Now if one of them gets to 3 miles, it's automatically going to single target track the primary that you have selected. So this is a great tool to use to maintain situational awareness. I'm going to see myself using this a lot in the future with the dual target track. And what we're going to do here is do a little demonstration. We're going to move the scan volume to the left so that the two right contacts on the FCR are going to drop from the radar scan. They're still there on the data link, but they're not radar contacts anymore. Now, if we move it to the right, and if we do a shallow turn here to move the bugged dual target track targets out of the scan volume, you'll see that the T-bar is actually going to dwell outside of the scan volume to maintain the updates it needs to track those targets. So you can see here, we're on the scan volume all the way on the right. And you can see here that the T-bar actually dwells outside of the scan volume to maintain updates on these targets. Go ahead and talk about the FCR symbology changes. Uh, this is still a work in progress, but we're going to go ahead and fox, fox threes at these guys. And you can see when a 120 is launched on a target, a rectangle tail appears at the back of the symbol. And you can see that here. So we're waiting for the missile to go pitbull and you can see now it has gone pitbull and to designate that the missile switches from a time to active to t time to impact the tail flashes and you can see that the tails are flashing and just remember these are work in progress so sometimes they work sometimes they don't and here the red x's are coming through on these symbols which designates that the missile has timed out thanks for watching the end of the video hopefully this all helps you out enjoy the new changes to the f-16 the viper needs a lot of love and we are getting a lot of love so let's keep these changes coming we'll see you on the next video